Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. You guys ready to open some plants? I think it's gonna shock you guys what plants I got. You guys. I really do. One of them's a good size. Wait, which one is that? This plant is just stunning. Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? It's Sam. Welcome or welcome back to my planty channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today we have a mm. unboxing. We have plant mouths. It's going to be a little haul type video. I'm going to bring the camera down. We're going to sit on the floor and we're going to unbox some plants. Be excited. It's always a good day when it's plant mail day. Let's go over my dusty entertainment stand, please. And thank you. It's going to sit right here. And the floor. These plant babies are from Gabriella Plants. Love them. I've been a member and a customer with Gabriella Plants since around 2019. And they never, they never fail me. So let's get into the box, y'all. There's four plants in here. They arrived at my post office actually yesterday. And I could not get them because they were behind the counter. So Jason had to go in this morning before he went to work. I have four packages at the post office that one of them's been there for like going on two weeks. I haven't been able to pick up because my post office closes so early. I'm really excited. Having them, it's going to shock you guys. I think it's going to shock you guys what plants I got. I really do. Smile, your plant has arrived home. Yes, they have. One of them's a good size. Wait, which one is that? You guys ready to open some plants? The usuals. I do have shorts on, by the way. I know this is so dusty. Please just look over it. Okay, let's start with this one. We love a good name tag. I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple of these plants out so I can use the box to unpackage these guys in in case there's any dirt spillage you guys let me explain what happened so we are clearly getting into the box and basically whenever i tilted my camera down i knocked the connector piece for my wireless charger and it like come loose from my charging port and so the mic disconnected the audio is terrible because i was setting a good ways back so basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut to the clips of each plant as I'm unboxing them. And then we're going to come back here and I'm going to show each plant to you and tell you my thoughts, tell you what it is. I was so excited to film in my living room too, for once. Like what? Let's go ahead and get into the first plant. Now this one is really pretty. I can already tell. I know which one it is. I'm really excited about this one. This is the first plant that I unboxed. This is Spathophyllum Silver Streak. This plant is just stunning. I was drawn to this plant, like it, I think it was the first one in my cart because of this gorgeous suede leaf and obviously this fantastic silver vein down through the middle of the leaves. This might sound like a bit odd, but this actually reminds me just a little bit of a like suede strappy anthurium, kind of like my anthurium palitiflorum. Uh, obviously it's smaller, so I'm sure when it's larger, it's not going to as much, but just this suede texture to the leaf and the vein, it does. It reminds me of my Politiflorum, and I'm obsessed. I feel like this texture is not something that you often see on Spathophyllum, so that in itself makes it pretty unique. I'm really excited to grow this. That's plant number one. Yeah, this is just like a little springtime shopping haul. So pretty. Wow. Oh. 
Wow. Um, a stack of violent sensation. So have domino, regular green, peace lilies. I like peace lilies a lot. next plant that we unbox is another stack of phylum. Yeah, I told you guys I think you're going to be quite surprised at this little haul. And this one does appear to be a little bit thirsty, so I'm going to give this one a water probably. And you guys, I have the perfect place to put these plants, and I'm going to show you guys that as well later on in the video. This is Spathophyllum Sensation. Look at her. Another stunning, stunning plant. This one has a bit of a silvery hue to it, but it almost looks a bit blue, like the Cebu blue. It kind of reminds me of my Adelonema, AKA Homolomena purple sword. The silver blue matte look to the plant. Like it's just fantastic. This appears to be his newest leaf right here. Um, I love the ripple on the leaf as well. I just think it's a really simple but beautiful plant. Really excited about this one. I'm really excited about all these plants. Just a little fair warning. I mean, really? So I'm probably going to say that about each one. Number two. The third plant, surprise. So I've mentioned a couple of times, I've really been enjoying my orchids lately and their blooms, just kind of taking care of them in general, looking into other species and types that I don't currently have, which I don't have very many, but let's be real. Um, so this is a little jewel orchid. I will put the name on the screen because I don't feel like I can say it properly to do it justice. It is so pretty. I had Cydia Discolor before and I really like that one and grew it pretty big. But I've been wanting this one. I really like how large the leaves are. I love the design, the neon type design. It almost looks like a fake plant. And this guy is putting out a new leaf right here. So that's exciting. I love it. I just, I think it's beautiful. Uh, this is the only one I think that is in sphagnum moss. I'm going to leave it in sphagnum moss. I feel like I need a terrarium or some type of enclosed situation for this plant, but we'll see. My Lucidia did well, but I need to really look up the care on this because I do not know how similar their care might be. I assume their care will be similar, but I love it. Plant number three. It's a cutie. I saved the largest for last. It's not huge by any means, but it is bigger than the other three. And you guessed it, it's a spathophyllum. And look, you guys, when I first was pulling the packaging off of this plant, I immediately could smell this bloom. 
it smells pretty. Yeah, that, that's what it smells like. It just smells pretty, peacefully blooms. Um, so I was surprised to see this one was in bloom. Now this one, unlike the other two that have more straight and sleek leaf edges, this one has more of a rippled, rigid edge around the leaf, which I really, really like. Oh, I should tell you what this is. This is Spathophyllum Platinum Mist. So it, it just, it has that. It has like this platinum silver misty, misty glaze uh, on the foliage. It's incredible. Look at that. This appears to be a new leaf here. Sunshine moment. Hello? Um, look at that. It has other growth points down here. But she's blooming. I think she might be a little thirsty also. I love it. These are my new babies. I'm going to take you guys in probably tomorrow. Oh, it'll be in the same video. And show you where they're going to be living. I have the perfect little spot for them. And I'm really excited because I'm over the plan to spend setting there. Trying to spice up my living room and this particular wall in general. So I think these guys are the perfect addition. They're low light tolerant. This place gets... You'll see. It gets good light when the sun's setting. But beautiful, beautiful Spathophyllum, a.k.a. Peace Lilies. One in bloom. Very happy with these guys. And then a Jewel Orchid. Isn't she so pretty? Oh, I'm obsessed with all of them. Okay, guys. So I set up this plant stand a few days ago, last week maybe. This is one that we took out of my grow tent when we took it down last year, and uh, it's just been kind of not really in use, just sitting in a different room. I haven't been using it for plants since then, but I thought this wall looked kind of bare, and so I decided to move it in to free up some space as well in our bedroom because it was getting a bit crowded. So there's that, and then I've had this little wooden stand here and this window for a long time. Honestly, I am completely over the syngoniums that are living here. The plants on this, I'm just over it. The sun comes in really beautifully from like late afternoon through the evening as the sun sets. And also we get morning sun. Look over my messy house. This is a south facing window. So we get some really nice sun on this wall all morning from like sunrise to noon or so, I would say. And then from late afternoon to early evening, as the sun starts to set, uh, sun comes in this window right here, but it's not super harsh. None of the light is super harsh, but I do think it's the perfect amount of light for peace, peace lilies. And I just think they would look really cute setting here. So I'm going to play around a little bit. I think I'll probably leave this ficus here because I don't know, I like it there. We're gonna move out some of these other plants and play around with my new peace lilies and see what it looks like. I think they'll look good here. Bestie. My stand is super wobbly. It's very unstable, so it can't hold very much weight at all. And there's not really any way to secure it. So I also think the peace lilies are like the perfect size and weight for this. Probably actually have too much weight on it right now.
Now let's see who should go where. Okay, so this one is taller, so it's gonna have to go on a shelf that doesn't have another one above it. So as you can see, I did end up moving a couple plants that I didn't think I was going to end up moving. So I just wanted to update you on that really quick. I ended up putting my Black Pagoda lipstick plant here. I've been looking for a place for it anyway because it wasn't really happy where it was. And I know that because it's not growing nearly as fast as usual and it also hasn't bloomed in a couple of months. So I also moved my Look Over My Dirty Window Please. Homo Amina Purple Sword here. I repotted it and moved it. It's growing really good. I just cut like six inflows off of it. But you can see she doesn't look the happiest. That's from underwatering because she just lives somewhere that I can't really, I, I don't get to her quick enough. Her care is kind of similar to a spathophyllum. All of these plants really are quite thirsty. So this is a great spot for them where I can easily access them, easily see, just look over and see them and see if they need assistance or water so yes this is the turnout um yeah i'm pretty happy with it and i've kind of balanced out the weight because we have a heavier pot here and a heavier pot on this side so and then i have this orbifolia sitting on the very bottom just to kind of like weight it down i mean hey it works I really like it a lot. Let me know if you have any of these plants and also let me know which one is your favorite if you wanna. Um, I'm gonna let them acclimate and stuff before I go repotting anything. We're not gonna do that right now, but I actually may be experimenting a little bit and putting one of these, at least one of the peace lilies into water like to live because I hear, and I've been seeing other people doing it, you know, peace lilies are, they're easy plants, but they're just really thirsty and dramatic when you skip a watering. So I've heard that these can really, really thrive and do exceptionally well being grown in like a vase of water. So I really want to want to experiment. I don't know which one I'm going to try it with yet. I have a feeling maybe this one. Um, probably not, not right now, like I said, but we're going to experiment and try it. So stick around for that. Otherwise, that's going to do it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again very soon in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.